Hello, this is your brother teacher here. Uh, I have a great question for all of you that are watching me right now. And the question is really profound. And it has to do with your age and how long do you plan on living? How old do you want to be or expect to be in this life? Did I make that simple enough? How old do you believe that you are going to be before you pass away? Do you believe that your lifestyle right now as it relates to your health is sufficient enough, adequate enough for you to reach your 80s and your 90s and still have a pretty decent quality of life? Or is your lifestyle right now indicative of someone that has poor health practices? Are you still eating a junk food diet, still smoking tobacco products habitually, or even chewing tobacco? Are you overworking yourself on the job by working two, three jobs and you never have an opportunity to really rest and you have acquired many different health issues? You know, hypertension, heart problems, and kidney problems, and things of this sort. How long do you think that's going to last? Are you the sedentary type? Someone who never gets out, goes for walks, rides a bike, go to the neighborhood gym and exercise, but you're always complaining about pain and your health, but you never do anything about it. Are you the type of individual that's always taking over-the-counter drugs for different maladies and different things that you might be going through, such as, let's say, headaches? I know a lot of people that are always coming in my store asking for pain pills, Tylenol, ibuprofen, etc., and things like this because they have a migraine or they have some sort of headache or their back hurts, these types of things or they have cramping in the stomach, various things they're asking for over-the-counter type uh, medication or even prescriptions that they get from, from their doctors or physicians. Now, ultimately, all of these types of medications are going to cause issues physically and internally and destroy all of your major organs. They are. I mean, I shoot right from the hip I'm sure I'm sorry I'm not going to candy coat anything and most of you that know me you know that that's how I am so if you put something that's not biologically friendly inside biology which we are a living being then it's not going to come without consequences and that's going to be even worse conditions and side effects from those medications, those chemicals, those toxic drugs that you're putting in your body that were never designed to be there. I heard someone say, and I believe it was uh, Hippocrates, let your food be your medicine and your medicine be your food. This is true. We would not even have to call food medicine had we not ever altered our way of living in the first place because it was just standing to reason that food supplied everything that we needed in terms of our overall health along with exercise, proper mental clarity and thinking. Food was always beneficial to human existence because it gives us great health if we eat it properly and according to nature. It is only when we denature take away the true nature of food by modifying the food with artificial chemicals, spraying it with pesticides, glyphosate or Roundup, and things of this sort, insecticides, herbicides, 
fungicides and all of these things and adding preservatives to them and packaging them and putting them in the grocery store these things causing cancer down the road so enough of that the question is still on the table how old do you believe you're going to become before you leave this planet how long do you expect to live as I'm speaking to you right now looking at your present condition your present health how long do you think you're going to be here God forbid someone kills us or some accident takes our lives I'm talking about the things that we indeed do control as it relates to us I personally this is me I'll share this with you as I'm sitting here right now even considering my present physical condition and my arthritic pains and so forth but knowing what my lifestyle is I personally believe that I will at least live to be 85 90 years old about four or five years ago when I was at VA hospital one of the doctors told me when I this is me personally I'm not talking about anyone else and this is not an attack on anyone else I'm just talking about me the doctor told me because I have done martial arts all of my life for the most part never drank never smoked never done drugs he said you'll probably live to be 110 he was serious when he said that and at that time my blood pressure was even up high but when he looked at my overall uh, health he said you will probably live to be 110 now do I believe that I will live to be 110 I I'll say this if I lived to be 110 I want to have my right mind or I don't want to live to be that old if I don't have my mind I may as well not be here because the mind controls everything so I want to have mental clarity I don't want to have dementia I want to have a clear conscious and be able to articulate as I am now but I can say within reason how I know myself right now I would love to see the age of 85 or 90 years old and still have most of my faculties so what say you will you live to be 70 if you are not that age right now if you're younger than 60 right now will you live to be 65 70 80 maybe even 90 years old be truthful I mean you don't have to answer the question if you don't want to you know it's your choice it's your prerogative I just thought I would ask that and I'm only doing this video to get us all to think about how valuable we are as human beings and how important you are the world needs positive people more positive people today because that's what takes some of the pressures of life all for those people who are struggling those people who are trying to find their way is to see someone else who is making it through this life not to say that we're not going to have struggle trials and issues because we all have those but some of us it's all about our mental state and our present lifestyle that determines how far we are going to go in this life living a healthy and productive life so I've already told you how old I expect to be uh, before I lay it down before the powers that be said that that's enough Reginald we're done you've done as much as you possibly can on this earth and it's, it's time to go I would hope to have said that I live to be 85 or 90 years old and again what do you say will you be that old I'm out